everyone, DJ Porkchop hanging out with you tonight. I'm going to talk about SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. I just finished up my program three weeks ago, I think it was. I transferred a bunch of credits over so I didn't have to take any gen ed classes, which is like math and science and English and that kind of stuff. So those I can't comment on or tell you about. Um, what I can tell you about is the rest of the experience, which I'm trying to keep this quick because I'm a bucket mom. Um, getting into the school was relatively easy. I did play a lot of phone tag and email tag. That happens a lot there. I'm not sure why, but it does. Um, let's see here. Well, like I say, financial-wise, everything was good. I, I did what I had to to get in. Financial aid helped me out. Now, here's the catch to it. I belong to a group on Facebook. It's students and alumni and staff of SDI. It's run by a, a former student. It's not a staff or a school web page. But a lot of people will come in there. Not a lot, but it happens. And someone will say they graduated, but they got a bill in the mail for like twelve or $1,300. Because somehow or the other, funds got shifted around to help them get in the door. And they got moved to the end. And after they received their stipends and whatnot, they weren't told about it. And then they were expecting to graduate and got a bill in the mail. That hasn't happened to me yet. I'm three weeks into graduation. I got an email that said contingent on finances being paid in full. I'll get my, my paperwork in the mail. So I haven't been hit with that yet. Um, I would recommend you stay on financial aid every single time you get a check. Call them. And tell them you want a rundown of where your money's going. It's your money. You got a right to know. Tell them you want to know. Because accidents do happen. Some people get complacent. Things happen. So that's one. Um, people ask me a lot, what tools do you get for the amount of money that you... It's very expensive, by the way, too. So, um, to, to if you take the full degree program. I'm not sure what the certificates cost, but the degree program is expensive. I can't really give you a rundown of the tools and the projects because the classes are always changing. Keep in mind this is a for-profit school. They're going to they're gonna go with the general consensus sometimes, in which they have this last time around. I think they've ditched a little bit more of the coursework to go with more hands-on and give you more tools. Like, for example, now they offer a Kydex course where whenever I started, they didn't offer that. That was not an option. So people now are getting Kydex material. I can't even comment on that because I don't know what you get. I got some uh, uh, trigger pull gauge, swivel based robot set, uh, hollow ground screwdrivers from Grace, brass punches, regular uh, punches, center punches, Ramelson chisels, um, what else I get, the uh, tradition Shenandoah muzzle loader, 1911 stealth arms build kit, and I got the, the phantom jig with it. You know, so what I got is different than what somebody started three months before me got. It's going to be different than what you got. So that's another thing, too. A very big thing at SDI. You have to remember, it is a college. They're going to get you for grammar and punctuation and all that stuff. They have to. They're nationally accredited. They have to do that. But here's the catch. I don't believe, because I've heard through the grapevine, very good source, <laughs> that these teachers don't actually work for, for they're contracted with us. They're like independent contractors. So each teacher basically along the lines is able to set up their own syllabus, I guess. Well, what I can get away with in Joe Schmo's class, Professor Joe Schmo, I can't get away with Professor Jim Dandy's. I, I might get a chuckle in his class. But then I go over to Professor Johnny Bob's, and what got me okay over here with a laugh and got me a chuckle but a worrying over here could get me expelled from school over here. There's no set guidelines across the board at SDI. None. So 
it is exactly that. Don't go from one class to the other to the other to the other expecting to get the same results over and over and over again because you're not going to. All instructors are different and they all grade different too. As once again for the gen ed classes, I cannot comment on that. Um, citations, <laughs> it's they, they're not using APA and all that good jazz in MLA. They're using Chicago Triberian or whatever it is, so expect that. Know how to do that. If you copy and paste off of BibMe or something like that or Citation Machine, some of the instructors know that you copied and pasted, and that actually is plagiarism, even though you input all the material. You're supposed to type that out by hand, not copy and paste it. I found out the hard way, um, but I did not intentionally. I mean, if, you, know, you know what I'm saying. I, I found out accidentally. So <clears throat> that's that. Workload. It's not bad. There's been times where I've had uh, two labs and a class at the same time or two classes in one lab um, it wasn't very bad for me because pretty much I don't work anyway because my back's all jacked up I just had surgery and I've been down down for the count for years so I had plenty of time but as a working father or mother anybody whatever take be prepared for it it's not a lot I mean for me it wasn't I, I banged out 2,000 words a week type Plus all the reading materials and and the quizzes, call it two hours, three max per week. Um, you probably spend that on TV and a computer wasting time, maybe. I'm not assuming, but maybe you do. So that's that. It's, it's not bad. Some of the labs, basic hand tools lab, breeze, don't work. That's nothing. That's, that's a candle in the wind. Um stock fitting lab that's kind of misleading that has absolutely nothing to do with fitting nothing the stocks except for sling swivels uh bases and that is where you get well i got i don't once again i don't know if you'll get it but that's where i got these that's the only thing that class even talked about fitting anything to a stock for the most part um i got india stone with that class I, ha I worked on a Visor 50. I used to stone and some needle. I got needle files with it too from Hard Freight. Um, I worked on a little Visor 50 and removed some burrs and added some oil and I got an A plus on it. Yeah, so um, it's not a very big deal. The muzzle loader that one took some time and effort. And I'm even though I've been done with school for a little while now i've been out in muzzle loader class for a long time months and months it's still sitting up here on the shelf i got a function but i stripped it all back apart so i could finish it and do it properly modify it the way i wanted to so that's that so be careful across your classes don't expect one thing from class to class to class i know i took the very long way around a very short question um as far as deadlines on your schoolwork goes, obviously it's Monday, Arizona time, at midnight. So if you're in Central, that's 2 a.m. This time of year, it's 2 a.m. When the clocks go back, it'll be 1 a.m. You should get where I'm coming from. Now, there's been an issue come up where people are like, well, if I post, if I wait, because I got busy through the week and I posted on Saturday and Sunday, I didn't get credit for my, for my uh, forum post. That's a Moodle problem, not an SDI problem. Yes, Moodle is a phone app, but it's also a basic platform that SDI runs on. If you post after Thursday, it will not notify your instructor. This is probably a good idea for you to email your instructor. Most have a 24-hour turnaround time. And say, hey, by the way, I posted. I don't know if Moodle let you know, but I did post. And they'll generally get you squared away for the most part. Uh, Kip Carpenter would be the guy to talk to about that he was real upfront and honest about it i asked him a couple you know this and that back and forth he's kip's a decent guy he'll talk to you about it and let you he sent our whole class an email right up front and let us know hey this is what's going on let me know and we'll get you taken care of real cool about it some people are blowing a gasket up well i should have till sunday well you do but unfortunately moodle's just not letting them know i and that's another issue with sdi their website sucks Pardon me, but it really does. They use Moodle. 
I went to another online college. I'll let I'll let it go which one, but their website was freaking fantastic. I can still access it to this day. I still have a valid.edu email address from them. Never got one from SDI, even though I've heard they give them away now to people. I, I never got one. So that's a different thing too. Um this other school's website, it had everything from financial aid to a full online university or a library. You name it, it had it. All the courses you've taken, I could access every course, all the materials for every single course. Once you're done with the course here at SDI, you're not accessing that material ever again. So when you have the opportunity to download it, you better download it and you better do it quick because it'd be gone. Once that class is gone, it's gone. You missed out. Um, very, very good book. Some of them, there's typos. It's going to happen. Human factor. It happens. Um, I've seen people blow gaskets over it. It's a typo. Get over it. Move on. You know, point it out to somebody and hopefully they get it fixed. Moving on. Um, trying to think of what else. Um, the, there's a Facebook group. I, I don't have my phone or computer out here right now, so, so I can't tell you what it is. It, SDI st students or something. I, I don't. Uh, a lot of us hang out in there and help each other and, you know. The number one question is, hey, what am I getting for this class? I started Monday. Well, do yourself a favor and go look at sdi.edu. They had, click, go up top, click courses or whatever it is, programs. It'll open a drop down and you click on that and it'll pull up a page. And then on the left side, you choose your program. Somehow it works like that. On your program, it will list on the left side all of your courses you're taking and it'll list all your materials that you're going to get for that course so you can actually find that information out yourself you don't have to email nobody you don't have to wait for a response you can look it up yourself it takes like two whole minutes to do you'll get the information a lot quicker rather than waiting so like now for example if you're going to take the muzzle loader class i'm going to tell you right now you don't get nothing to finish it with all you get's the kit you get you get two gouges and a scraper type of chisel. You get one ounce of inlet black, and this is going to last you a long, long time. And that's it. That's it. That's you don't get needle files. You don't get nothing. You're going to need all that stuff before you, if you get lucky enough to do that class. So you're going to need sandpaper, stain, all that. People nag about it too. Well, they should provide everything. No, they really shouldn't. It's when you go to college, you got to supply your own notebook paper. You got to well, you used to pens, pencils. You got to supply your own computer. SDI gives you one of those. I guess I got a decent one. Everyone else can complain about it, but you know, I would have to buy my. If I'm in a dorm, I got to buy all that. I got to buy my own desk. This school ain't gonna supply that for you. SDI gonna supply you the basics. Um. So no, they're not going to give you sandpaper and all this. So this is where this comes in handy. Go to the website, look. Okay, I got muzzle loader class. I'm going to start in three weeks. Maybe I'll ever pick this stuff up. You know, um, if you don't see it on the list, you don't get it. Um, same thing with like your capstones, for example, like the ARs. You're not going to get sites, magazines, and there was something else in there that you don't get too. I didn't do an AR capstone. I did the 1911. But I do know for like state laws vary on magazine capacity. So SDI don't even send them out. You can go to the store and pick one up, what, 10, 15 bucks. So I mean, they're not a big deal. Um, you know, just do yourself a favor. Just go to SDI.edu. Once I don't work for them. I know I keep dropping the link, but just go there and check it out. You can find it out yourself. Um, I, oh, <laughs> here's an awesome one. A lot of people say, well, thanks to SDI, I just don't ever want to do that for a living. We'll call it checkering, for example. Oh, checkering is not for the faint of heart. You watch Larry Potterfield from Midway USA do it, or Mark Novak over at CNN Arsenal's uh, YouTube channel. Them fellows make it look pretty easy. I'm going to tell you right now, it is not easy. You're going to get one handle and two cutter. You're going to get a double line, 18 line per inch cutter. Once again, I cannot comment on what you're going to get. This is what I got. Um, and, and a 90 degree cutter. 
with single line 90 degree cutter, no board, no border cutters, no nothing, no checker engage, no anything. Um, there's a reason for that. 99.9% .9 of the people who do checkering will not ever do it again. So what is the point in SDI spent sending you a hundred something dollar checkering kit? There's no point in that. There's no point in that whatsoever. You're going to sell it. You're going to throw it away. It's going to be junk. It's going to sit in a drawer. It's going to it's going to collect dust. You're not going. Most people are not going to checker. It is a dying art. Um, and that's too bad too because it's really awesome. Uh, I sucked at it, but nonetheless, I want to give it a try again, just because it pissed me off. But I've heard people, well, thanks to SDI and the tools they sent, it, it, it turned me off. I never want to do that ever again. You knew ahead of time what you were going to get if you would have went to SDI.edu and looked. You would know. So you would know ahead of time. Okay, this actually looks pretty cool. Maybe I want to get into this a little further. Get on Midway USA, go to Brownells, Amazon, dare I say that, or wherever you want and buy some extra cutters and handles because you're not going to get one handle you're going to keep switching cutters and that really sucks it takes time and time is something you need a lot of when it comes to this checkering stuff trust me so don't let that be an excuse for it. it's not SDI's fault trust me it's not um, it's probably your own because you don't want to do it again <laughs> That. It, it sucks trust me it, re it really does suck either you want a checker or you don't there's no in between so I see their point behind why they do what they do the one thing that did bum me a little bit was their needle file set they sent did actually come from Harbor Freight now I'm not knocking on Harbor Freight if I turn my cameras all my nylon brushes my brass brushes stainless brushes I got hanging on my wall they all come from Harbor Freight they're like a dollar a pack two bucks I think I got two, three sets of them. My acid brushes, I got 30 acid brushes, I think, or 40 of them from Harbor Freight for like two bucks. Screwdrivers, wrenches. But when you're coughing up $16,000 for a program, I would think you would get something a little more better than a $5 set of needle files. I'm not, I wouldn't ask him to pay $100 for some nice fancy German set or something like that. But realistically, I used one of them files and I wore it chalked. I used, I used soapstone welders chalk to chalk my files with so I don't wear the teeth on it. One project, teeth were gone. And it was not hard and steel neither. They're garbage. They're 100% garbage. I wish they would improve on that. So that's that. I did get an Otis Elite gun cleaning kit from, as you might have seen in a previous video. If you haven't, go check it out. It's here some. It's in my SDI playlist here. That was an awesome set. Hundred. It's like a hundred five hundred and ten bucks. It's complete and thorough. That baby's nice. Um, it is real nice. I've used and used and used and used it other than school. I've used the holy snot right out of it. It's Otis Elite, not just the little bitty field kit, it's the whole entire kit. Now, are you going to get that? I have no clue. That was for cleaning lab, so I don't know if you're going to get that or not, but I did. It's the Otis Elite. Check it out. It's pretty freaking awesome. Um, some other little stuff you're going to want is a bench block, maybe, because you're going to have to do projects. Um, vice, I got a 5-inch over here. Setup center, everyone's got a five inch vice. Mine's not even a barrel vice, neither, which I really wish it was, but it's not. So, just little stupid stuff you're gonna need to get by with. Um, oh, I don't, and do they help you get a job after you graduate? No, they don't. They don't guarantee you no employment, no nothing. You will, from their courier services department, get emails in the mail. I know for a fact I just got one from CZ. I believe it was in Kansas City looking for people to put guns together and people to work on the firing line, test firing firearms. That really sucks for me because I don't live in Missouri. I did my time in Missouri and I don't want to go back to Missouri. Nothing against Missouri. Beautiful place. I'd love, I love, my mom lives there. I, I love going to visit, but I don't want to live there again. So, strike one. 
They do offer, uh, what am I thinking about here? What's, I, I'm at a loss for words. I put myself on the spot. Internship programs. You can get, they have like 12 or 14 across the entire United States. You can choose from and go to the Taurus program. If you want to try to work for Taurus, you have to be a resident of Florida. So that one you can't get into. There's another one over here by Nashville right down the road from me here. A couple, three or four hours down the road. It's a guy, he, he's a veteran. He owns this gun shop. You can, he only hires, from what I said in a seminar, his, he only hires veterans, but you can get, you can get an internship program. Well, I think it's four weeks. He requires you to bring your capstone project with you uh, in order to come work for him. So you literally have to be done with school before you can go work for this guy. Some of the other ones, I don't know how they work, but you can get internship programs and go work at gun shops. They'll help you out in that department. It's not permanent. You, it could be, I suppose, but so I guess that's better than nothing. It's helping you get a foot in the door. Now, the nagging thing on the back of everybody's mind is what I have read over and over is YouTube gunsmith. That is very true. I could sit here and give you a list of all the tools and materials I got. You can go buy them a whole and all the books. I could get you could buy it a whole bunch cheaper by yourself than what you can go to SDI and actually do it for. I copied all the YouTube links. I got everything, every single thing. But then again, the programs always change. So I could give you this information. You turn around and cuss at me because it's wrong. But It'd be a whole lot cheaper on you. Am I going to do that? No, I'm probably not. It's, I just can't, I can't do that. In good faith, I can't do that. Um, it's YouTube Gunsmith. I had a problem with it at first, but after going through the program, that's all YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And a lot... And the bad part was, is a lot of the YouTube videos we had to watch didn't have nothing to do with the reading material that we had to read that week. Why, why am I watching a YouTube video for a reflection assignment of doing a trigger job if every bit of reading I had to do that week was on mounting scopes? That totally makes no sense at all. There were some videos in there that if my one of my grandkids, the granddaughters, had been in the room, well, consider my granddaughters, I should say, I would have blew a gasket. There's this one, this guy. I won't even mention it because in case you got kids in the room, I don't want them to hear it. I don't want to be known as... He, he was foul-mouthed. I'm foul-mouthed. But he was foul-mouthed talking about... And the school used this as curriculum. I complained about it, and it quickly got removed. Um, some of the stuff just didn't make no sense. So the bottom line is, you do a lot of reading and a lot of... YouTubing. And then when you do your assignments and turn them in, your feedback a lot of time is, good job. Well, what was good about it? What was bad about it? Is there anything I can improve on? Well, what Did I say anything wrong? If I'm talking about putting together an AK, for example, semi-automatic, um, did I say anything wrong? Did I use the wrong terminology? Give me some feedback here. Let's talk about it. Let's get some instruct. Do your job. Be an instructor. Um, a lot of the instructors, I believe, are professional paper graders, and that's it. I don't know that most of them even have a job in the gun industry or what, because 90% of the feedback I got was, good job, or you need to work on grammar. And I use Grammarly, of all the things in the world. Let that one sink in for a minute. Uh, punctuation, once again, I use Grammarly. You need to work on your spelling. I use Grammarly. So, it is what it is. Very, very few instructors did I get comments back on, hey, that was really good, or man, that stunk. You know, if you would have just done this or done that, you know, and that project you were working on, if you would have just took this step instead of that, you know, and try that out, but that doesn't happen. That does not happen. So you, YouTube Gunsmith, if you have no prior experience such as me, um, you're a YouTube Gunsmith. <laughs> now, 
I feel bad saying that because I've got very hostile over people calling me that. But that's exactly what it is. Um, there's a big difference between working with the gunsmith and actually getting hands-on experience and being trained by one versus working in your own shop like I am right now in my garage. I got a nice workbench set up here area. got all my tools. It looks good. If I brought a gun, I'd let me work on it. I wouldn't be none the wiser, but that doesn't mean that I know everything. There's guys that I've talked to at SDI that can tell you every part of every gun, of every single action they make and why they make. You can't be an expert at everything, but some of these guys are. Um, boy, they'll make you feel foolish in a hurry. But come find out, they, do, they already work in gun shops. You know, so they, they actually do this daily for a living. And a lot of us don't. But <laughs> so, you know, it, it is exactly what it is. Now, it, it, I'm not trying to insult any of us who go, who are attending there or graduated from there. I, that's not what this is about. It's not even a scary offering. It's something to give you. If you are considering this and you don't work at a gun shop, uh, maybe keep the information to yourself for now. Bust the news. Hey, yeah, by the you know, I went to SDA or whatever, but don't be ashamed of it. Just it's just ridiculous. I post another video, very badly edited video, by the way. Some people laughing at people from mentioning that they go to SDI, and what they did was they just ran a person who was an armor in the United States Army for what 20 years right out the door because they had three little letters on their resume SDI. That's so stupid, you know. So that's that feedback is not good they really need to work on that um so then they made forum poster requirement for for everybody and we have one instructor that's all a good post once again what was good about the post you know let's get some quality conversation going here they don't they don't do it so be prepared to instruct yourself. Um, if it didn't cost another $16,000, I'd love to revisit the program at a later point in time and see how they've come along for the good or the bad. Um, keep in mind, this school's only been in action for, what, four years now? Five? Very young and changing things change. You know, you got to make a start somewhere. So I'm not ragging them. Ha well, actually, I guess I have. But... Did I enjoy my time there? Yeah, I sure did. I, I look forward to my unboxings every time I got something new, like a kid in the candy store. You know, it was a good time, but frustrating, too, just because of some of that stuff. I've spent time on the phone with instructors, on the telephone with them, bragging about stuff. Um, email after email after email. You know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. I tend to get pretty squeaky. Um, so... I'm trying to think of what else I could tell you about them that I might have forgotten. I don't. I don't know that there's a lot more to say about it. Um, the capstone project—that's a famous one too. Everyone says, "When, when will I get my capstone?" It's supposed to be the fourth. Or about the, I'm so sorry. The sixth week of completion of school. Um, and it's an ungraded project. You can do it whenever you want. You don't have to do it at all. They may change that too now. I don't know. For me, it wasn't not a requirement. You're going to see that here in the video in the next day or two. It should be coming out. I've been working on a video for it, working on extractors and you know all that stuff. Um, but you're supposed to get it at the end of the sixth week. It's supposed to ship. I got an email notification that mine was going to ship on my fourth at the beginning of my fourth week. And the day I was supposed to take delivery, I was going to be in the hospital getting surgery on my back. So I had to postpone my delivery for a day. I got it the day after my surgery and then stared at it for another week or two after my surgery. So uh, so that's the capstone. Whether or not it's going to change, I don't know. Like It's things at SDI change a lot. If you don't like the atmosphere at SDI, give it five weeks. It'll change. Trust me. Uh, sometimes for good, you know, it could go either way, but, um, let's see, I guess that's, 
probably gonna be about it. Can you do this from an apartment building? Yeah, you can. Do you need a shop with the vice and everything? It'd be handy. Do you have to? No. If you're in an apartment or something, a house with no garage, no basement, and you want, you can do it. I've seen a design, a guy built a uh, gunsmithing shop in a coffee table. I actually had a coffee table where he flipped the top open and it had support legs under the top. It was pretty ingenious, actually. He even had a little, like, three inch vice on there that he was he built an AR and this thing. It was some of the it was another guy, he was single. He had to been otherwise this would have never worked because a woman would have took over the closet a long time ago. But his his hallway closet was empty. So what he do? He actually built to the sides. He had shelves going down the walls and he had a desk in there. Kind of sorty thing. It was like a foreman's desk job box. Joe Box, whatever you want to call them, big stand-up jobbies. You've seen them at construction sites where they pull the door open. It's got the, the desk on there and shelves and stuff. You can tell I'm a construction guy. It was one of those. He pulled it out, and he had a whole complete workbench set up and fold. It was pretty freaking amazing the way this. So you can do it. You don't have to have a garage or a shop, or don't let that stop you. Um, if you want to do this, do it, you know. <laughs> You don't have a lot. I didn't. I barely knew a thing about guns before I got started, and I I know a lot now. And if I don't know the answer, now I know where to go to get it. Um, I got a lot of the material, so it's pretty awesome. But uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and shut up, because like I say, I'm a bucket mouth. If in the future I can think of anything, I'll come back and do a rebuttal um, video part two. Um, or as Hickok would call it, a range two video. Uh, no infringement meant in there. Sorry, Hickok. Um, any questions about it, ask me. I, I'm not afraid to speak up. I, you know, totally not slandering nobody. It's constructive criticism is what it's called. Um, I would love nothing more than a place to to be fantastic and not get... When somebody goes to a gun shop, apply for a job, they don't get laughed at. That... That is that irks me to no end. I I hate that with a passion. Um, I wish this place would hire me on as an ambassador, just to to audit programs and go through, <laughs> do something for them, to make it better. You know, they're doing a good job and they're getting there, but you know, bring somebody in that's you know that's not teaching. You know, let them go over everything, look at it, do something. You know, make it better for everybody. You know what. Well, what people are paying for it, then, so, you get the idea. But anyway, if you got any comments, suggestions, or questions about SDI, anything of the such, don't be afraid to ask, post away, doesn't matter, private message me, do whatever you need to do, I'm glad to answer them. Uh, does this mean that my SDI journey videos are done? Nope. I still have a few things in the works that Capstone, that 45 ACP that I've been working on at 1911, that's still... SDI journey because I'm not done with that project yet. So then videos will be going in this playlist as well as my muzzle loader project. You can see I got pieces and parts. It's not done yet. It's got to get finished though. So that'd be about that. If any if he, any of your video other videos like my Otis cleaning kit or the grace tools or anything that you've seen in the other videos, just ask me. I'll I'll do some more filming and show them for you. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go order the family some dinner because I'm not cooking tonight while well, my wife is hard at work. Um, yeah, all that good jazz. So you guys take care of yourselves and each other in the words of Barry Springer himself. And uh, remember, have fun, keep it legal, and all that good jazz. Support your Second Amendment. Join the NRA. Join the gun owners. Join somebody. Just do it. Catch you guys later. Bye.